Hi and welcome to our Altium installation videos. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Altium Designer. We'll point it to the server here on the UF campus and we'll install the libraries. Okay, let's get started. First open your browser. We want to open our browser to an FTP site. It says FTP colon slash slash Altium download dot ECE dot UFL dot EDU. When you get to the Altium download page, you'll see here where it says pub for public. I'm going to open that up. And inside the public folder, I'll see I have an Altium install. I have an ECE library. I have an Altium library. Well, let's go for the Altium install first. We have version 15 and 16 available at this moment. Uh, we're going to install 16. So I'm going to tell it offline setup. I'm going to click on it. And it's going to say what I want to do. Okay. I want to open it. I'll click on open. And you'll see it's telling me I'm going to be about a minute or so for this to download. After it downloads, it's in a zipped format. So we're going to need to uh, unzip un un it or extract it in order to install it. If you try to install why it's zipped, it has problems because it can't see everything because some of the things are, uh, are uh, compressed. So I'll let this run. Uh, and I'm going to open up my, my uh, file explorer because I already have this downloaded and I already have it extracted. That way we don't have to wait for the amount of time it takes for this file to extract. Here's how to do it. I can tell it extract and extract all. And it's telling me I'm going to save it in users, Altium, documents, and it'll extract it. But that, that'll take a little while. So you'll need to do that. I've already done it to save time for the video. I'll go to documents, offline setup, and here's my extracted information. Now, I have Altium Designer set up. I'll double click. And here it says, uh, Altium Designer, welcome. We want to click Next. It says, do I accept the agreement? I'll accept the agreement. Next. Uh, select the design functionality. Uh, I usually tell it everything. So I have everything available. You never know as you continue with your schooling and maybe go to grad school, you'll want some more of these options. And I'll tell it Next. And it says, where do I want to put this. Now I have Altium installed already and I don't want to overwrite my current profile so I'm going to change my default. But you can leave both of these as default. I'm going to change mine. There we go. And I'll change this one. Okay, I'm going to place this on my C drive, Altium Documents. Again, you'll want to leave yours on the default setting. Or you can put it somewhere else if you want. That's fine, just as long as you remember where you put it. We'll say OK. Next. It says, I'm now ready to begin installation. I'm going to click Next to install. The install takes quite a while. Uh, so I'm going to pause here and come back. All right, Altium finished installing. You'll see the check mark says Run Altium Designer. I'm going to tell it Finish. It's asking, can I use private networks? Yes, allow access. Running build for the first time. Would you like to import settings? Uh, no, I'm not importing settings because this is the first time you've run it. You have no settings to import. All right, this often comes up when you first start. It says, warning, parallel port driver not supported in 64-bit. You can click, don't show this message anymore. We're not using the parallel ports in here, so we don't need to worry about it. Um, would I like to participate? Yes, I always participate. If I can help the company make their product better for me, then I'm happy. Uh, this storage manager, we can X that out. We don't need it. So Altium's up and running. Let's go on the very top left corner and click where it says My Account. I'm going to click on that. Now I need to set up a private license server. So I'm going to click here, Set Up Private License Server. And when I do, 
you'll see I have a place to put a name and a, and a server port. I'm going to type in altium.ece.ufl.edu and my server port is 22002. Uh, this works when you're on campus. If you're not on campus, you can still use this, but you need to VPN into campus. That will get you uh, technically looking like you're on campus, and then you can see this server. This server is not uh, visible outside the university. So we'll click OK. It'll pop up, and you'll see here I have Altium Designer, Users and Count. There's four people using it. There's 180 seats available. I'm going to highlight that so it's blue and tell it Activate License. When I activate the license, you'll see now it says Available license, license to University of Florida. License subscription valid till 28th of December 2018. So now I have Altium up and running and I'm licensed. Uh, next thing we're going to do is go and look at a few libraries we're going to want to download and install. So let's go back to our web page, to our Altium download. And I have an Altium library and an ECE library. If I click on the ECE library, it's going to say, I want to save it. Okay. You'll see it download there. And I'll go to the Altium library zipped because it's a big library. And I'll tell it, I want to save it. And it'll download here. You'll see the first one downloaded very quickly. It's obviously much smaller. Uh, 831 kilobytes compared to 2 gigabytes over here. I can right click on this say an open containing folder so you'll see where it is it's under users this is actually the username I'm using on this computer Altium uh, that's going to be your username whatever it is and then downloads so I can see that I have it set up there right I have an Altium library I can move that wherever I want right but I'm going to leave it right there users Altium downloads now in Altium in order to get to my libraries, uh, this files folder is pinned here right now. You see there's a little push pin. I'm going to undo that push pin, and that thing will slide out of my way. Uh, libraries, by the default, when this one installed, is on the right. You see the little tab. It opens up libraries. When I move my mouse away, it disappears. These tabs can move. So I'm going to grab that tab and put it over here. Now you see my libraries are over here. And I have opened just two libraries, miscellaneous devices, miscellaneous character uh, connectors. I'm going to click on the library function here. Here's what's installed, and I'm going to tell it install more, right? And when I click there, it says install from file. So I can go to file. Point to the location where it downloaded. There it is, Downloads, ECE Library New. Now, you can put that in any folder you want in order to maintain it yourself. I'm just going to show you how uh, this one's functioning, and the easiest way is to leave it where it is. may not be the best way, but I'm going to tell it to install and close. Now, if I come to my libraries, you'll see I have my ECE Library. The ECE library has a lot of parts that we use here in the electrical engineering department, common parts that you get in your kits and we have available. It's not always easy to read here. You'll see that if I slide this over a little bit, it's easier to read that. Easier to read that. Here's a diode, right? So I can move this up and down and see all my different parts. Now, I'll go back to my downloads here. You'll see that I also downloaded this large 2 gigabyte library, which needs to be extracted. And you'll have to extract that whole 2 gigabytes. It's a lot of folders. You'll want to extract that, save it on your hard drive uh, somewhere, and then as we need to, we can go inside there and look at those parts and see if we need uh, a part that we can't find in our ECE library. We can maybe find it in this large library. You see all these parts. 
and we'll go into how to search for parts uh, in another video. But for now, I'll close this out. You'll see you have your Altium up and running. And that's about all you need to start Altium and get your system up and running. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll have another video that will show you how to do other functions.